adjusting the corner flag no score Batista Schusti Uruchaga Maradona Stevens chases well claimed well an interesting decision by Terry Fennick he decided not to go across although Stevens was always in the wake of Maradona and indeed at the end of it a copybook cross from a tight position which is a hallmark of his play he really did enough against Uruguay to win the match on his own he laid on enough chances that weren't taken but he's always going to be a threat my disappointment at the moment is England haven't got the rhythm and the balance and the confidence that they showed in their last two matches there's no doubt that nerves have got to them early on to Gary Stevens with one or two wild clearances Terry Fennick not using the ball as well as he's able and Glenn Hoddle really a shadow of what he was in the other match and so they really do need to settle to frighten the Argentinians and get the balance back into the game there are always two sides of an argument and uh, I think the fact that we are now playing a side of infinitely higher class than anything we've met so far has to be taken into consideration as I'm sure you'd agree and in case you've come in and joined us late let me tell you with now six minutes remaining there is still no score in this third of the four quarterfinals England against Argentina just to pick up that point Barry I would say they're higher class in possession but they're not that much better when England have the ball and England are causing their own misgivings and, and downfall at the moment and the neutrals are a little disgruntled two matches that they watched yesterday the Mexicans obviously had huge interest in the happenings of Monterey which ended in disappointment and the world watched with a certain amount of awe at the quality at Guadalajara the artistry and the beauty of the game was so well shown there here's Maradona three around him, he drew three, played it to Cachufo who didn't make the most of the opportunity Maradona went down a little late but I think uh, an example of what can happen Maradona draws players to him he's the honey for the bees and suddenly he proves not to be the queen the queen is wide to his right for the shot and Maradona in need of attention Well, if there's any eagle-eyed viewer at home saw that, they did rather better than we did here. I saw nothing at that point. Whether there was the usual tussle between uh, a defender and Maradona, where it was six of one and half a dozen. Now, let's have a look here. He's running on the left. You can see he actually ran into the back of a player who's showing no interest in him whatsoever and feigned the injury to get the sympathy. He's the best player in the world and by no means the worst actor by the look of it on that incident. You can't foul a man who's behind you. <laughs> there he is. He's still outstanding and still will need stopping by fair means if England are going to win this match. But more than that, they've got to start to do their stuff on the ball. I wonder whether he understood Terry Fennick's action. Hola, Ticochea. Brown. Pidu doesn't seem very much of the ball the balance of the play not greatly but slightly in Argentina's favour Batista Santum well, he would know better than anybody else that the side isn't quite ticking as it did in the two previous matches Reed, an unpleasing bounce, and he was a judge to have handled. Oh, 
Aldano is the furthest forward for Argentina. Referee being very precise as to which blade of grass is the point of the free kick. Maradona down the middle. Cover by Fennick. And I think it's fair to say that only Maradona has looked like making a breakthrough. He's the only one who's committed people in the last third of the field. Burchaga. Enrique has gone down. This is Maradona. They're forcing him across. Batista. Shot blocked by Hoddle. Wasn't a particularly good shot anyway. Butcher had to dig it out a little bit with his right foot. Put in by Huddle. Maradona very nearly does the splits and it seemed to hurt him. Beardsley, uh, Lineker rather. Batista. Schusti. Valdano. Still in his own half. Trying the impossible. Battling by Beardsley. Brown gets the ball well. Valdano should have played it in the first place. Maradona. Maradona looked for the whistle. Didn't get it. Sometimes like the English getting men behind the ball. Defenders are winning out. And they didn't all start by playing in the back four. We're into the last minute. England's 49th match during the reign of Bobby Robson is so far not a particularly uplifting occasion prize is greater than the quality of football that we're seeing. Tufo. Ruchaga. Referee had his whistle to his lips immediately. But when he finally gives the verdict, it's in England's favour. What a prime moment this would be to score a goal. First really real chance for Hoddle to pick somebody out. And it will have to be that. Certainly there won't be a shot from here. Five forward for England. Across the 18-yard uh, line. And we're now playing the time for that uh, corner flag incident. Huddle. Forward again for Kenny Stanton. Hodge has got in his way. What a shame. The flag was up for offside, but I suspect it was against Hodge and not against Stanton. And clearly the move was between Huddle and Stanton. A little chip forward for Sanson to run onto. Hodge moved too soon, got in the way of Sanson's run, which would otherwise have been absolutely clear in on goal. And how pleasant to see a bit of imagination from a free kick coming from England of all, all countries. So there's the end of the first half. I see no reason to believe that it wasn't going to be a tight game today. The other two quarterfinals ended in penalties, and that could well be the case today. Such is the fear, really, of both sides for each other. The midfield hasn't been clear. FIFA appear not to be able to make up their mind. I'm sure viewers will remember just a couple of seasons back, it became the practice in the Football League for referees to interpret that kind of offence outside the penalty area as a sending off offence. In fact, they did so at that time. But through the FA, the Football League was stopped from allowing referees to interpret in that fashion. Uh, FIFA said at the start, that players were to be sent off but apparently referees are not carrying it out so it's all a muddle but let's hope we don't have that same kind of situation in the second half and that those who stand to serve will be saying amen to that apart from the players that Bobby Robson presumably has already decided will take the penalties should it be required and as Argentina the last 